had a win early on for London. The second one of the match goes to LA, and now this is a critical event, I would assume, here in this 200 backstroke for the Toronto Titans. Again, we're only two matches in, uh, two, uh, you know, two events in, if you will, Roddy. But again, the key for Toronto, butterfly backstroke, especially on the women's side, they've had so much success, but it's so much different here because you got Kylie Moss, you got Lisa Brown, but in this event also, you got Minna Atherton, the ISL record holder here. And Ingrid Wilm, who has really yeah. been really good late in the season for the LA Current. She has had a, a, a sensational rookie season. Lisa Bratton has won this event six different times. This is a huge aggregate rating of a 28,000 plus, four different winners. 14 different times these four swimmers have won including Atherton's five. This is going to be a good one. Yeah, I guess it's surprising that the aggregate rating is just below 30,000. Again, that 20 to 30,000, pretty good race. 30,000 and above, really, really good. And anything above 40 is unbelievable. And, that you're probably going to see the grand final. And, and Bernie, we have five races today that have that rating of over 30,000. That's wow. the most we've had thus far this year. So it's going to be some really good swimming along the way and this one kicks it off with just under 30,000. Also in the mix Federica Pellegrini in her final season swimming again you see what a captain she is for her team obviously known for what she can do on the freestyle but swimming the backstroke here down in lane number seven in Minna Atherton this looks like season one Minna Atherton here early on the first 75 really smooth cruising through and even Kathleen Baker looks a whole lot better over there in lane number two. Yeah, she sure does. And th and that's great news for L.A. If Baker can somehow get back to her form that she's been in the past. She goes in there with a lead. Bratton right behind her. And Atherton close to top three. Only a tenth separates those three. Kathleen Baker's highest finish this season in this event was fourth. She found herself here at the 75 in the lead. You see her right there toward the left-hand side of the screen with that yellow cap in lane number two. Boy, she's looking good right now. Certainly in store for a top three finish, which would be her best this season. And whoever wins this is going to pick up a lot of jackpot points. Atherton has faded. Kylie Moss, Lisa Bratton moving on. But at the moment, it's Baker up in lane two for L.A. Trying to get the second win of this match for the current and look at all the red folks and look at Kylie Moss come flying home this final 50. Boy, great turn there at the end there for Moss and she's going to get it. Kylie Moss gets the win the third time she's won the 200 backstroke. And this is exactly what Toronto needed first and third. And it's almost that they had to do it. We're, I mean, we are really early on, but to be able to pick up three different jackpots along the way was absolutely critical. Now, on the flip side, Baker and Wim finishing first and fourth, second and fourth, rather. That's going to certainly help their cause. And if you think about Baker, you see this last turn right here. That's a great turn. The very top of your screen, that was... Moss right there charging to the finish, but Baker's second place finish in the 200, gonna set up well in the 100.